Well, we've done it. We've killed the giant monster. How how did we even kill that thing? There's no reason. Duh! There's no reason for it to be this big. You know, I bet we could make a pretty cool death claw gauntlet from his arm. All right, well, let's just remove his arm. This is going to take a while, Drago. <laughs> Like, it's gonna take a long time. Get, here, hold this. What the fuck? Look, I may not mind killing other death claws, but I certainly don't want to lug around their dismembered limbs. So, uh, I didn't think this would bother you. Of course it bothers me. How would you feel if I gave you a severed human arm to carry around? Okay, valid point. <sighs> Just don't do it again. Okay, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Fine, I'll hold on to it. Let's go craft a gauntlet. Look, these people made a giant statue of me. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> How did we make it so much smaller? We carved it down. What do you say to that, Draco? We're, we're Death Guard Brothers, have five! I, I don't think he appreciates that. <laughs> Let's check out the Mojave Outpost. I heard they might need our help there. Alright, to the Mojave Outpost! What? Well, that's new. What the hell is this? Well, it doesn't look human. I, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the hell am I looking at right there? You know what? Um, yeah, okay, you guys... I'll see you later. What the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Uh, no. What kind of game? Parcheesi, maybe? There is only one kind of game. Parcheesi! Oh, it's trying to kill us! It's trying to kill us! That's not the game I wanted to play! Pulse slugs! Pulse slugs! Oh. Okay... Yikes! <laughs> Thank you! Epsilon invitation. Okay... Hey, I heard you guys got rid of the robot! So, um... I'll be true to cut. See you later! <laughs> I changed my mind! I, I, you know, I forgot how big that death claw was! <laughs> hey, have you guys seen my contubernium? They, uh, they were around here. I don't know where they went. Is that, is that them over there? <laughs> like those guys like way out that way? You have defied Kaisar for the last time. Your life ends now. And thanks for telling me where my contubernium was. Come on. <laughs> okay, what was all deal with the robot? Do you think you have a fast enough draw? Not fast enough. Do you think you have a solid punch? Not strong enough. Come find out why at Epsilon Bunker, rewards get larger as you succeed. Oh, I like rewards. To the Epsilon Bunker! To the Epsilon Bunker! Where the hell is that? I don't know! Nah, pants are better. Uh, pants are good in winter, shorts are good in summer. No, shorts are never good. Uh, I see a bunker over there. Hmm. Into the bunker! Yeah, why do I Welcome bunkers? to Epsilon Bunker. Ah! I apologize in advance for any pain you're about to experience. Epsilon threat assessment minimum. Oh, what a welcome! <laughs> okay, this is new and interesting. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, guy! Yikes! Of course, of course, we have to fight turrets. Okay, well, I think we're gonna be running pulse slugs since this seems to be all robots. Why did why? I thought we were gonna have some fun. Some we're going into a bunker, so tight, close quarters. But no, robots! Come on! Oh God! Oh, that's good. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Wait. Open, open! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, it's bad in here too. Oh, this whole place is dead. Why is everything filled with radioactive barrels? What are we supposed to be doing? I don't even know. We kind of jumped into this thing. This is not the room you are looking for. Oh no! Shit! Really? Ah! Do we have to touch the flags? I don't even know. We better hurry up and figure it out. Resistance test completed. All turrets disabled. I think. What? What? You think? <laughs> okay. Better freaking know! <laughs> oh my god, let's leave. Let's leave before more radiation kills me. Holy crap. Okay. Well, let's figure out why we're here to begin with. Yeah. Self-defense. Pass. Accuracy underway. Navigation untried. Resistance pass. Uh, we didn't die from the radiation. And admission denied. Admission. Got a few more tests to pass here. Wow. Well, we can't get to it. Apparently, we can't get to admission until we pass all of these other tests. So I guess accuracy? 
Uh huh. So we just start shooting robots? I guess. Accuracy test completed. Please clean up the door. Oh, okay, we're done. We're done. We we completed it. Let's go. Let's just close that one. Oh, sorry, sorry, Drago. I didn't mean to close your tail on the door. Okay, he doesn't care. Oh, you ruined his thagomizer. Navigation. We've been over this before. I failed land nav. It, it, I don't even have a compass. Hi. The you better not. You better not. Hey, shit. Brilliant. Brilliant choice to use a rocket launcher in close quarters. Oh, what, what broke now? Is that you making that noise? Ah! <laughs> Ow! There's shrapnel in my sinus cavity! Alright. You're having a great job with navigation here. Yeah, I'm just kind of stumbling around haphazardly hoping I find the exit. I'd suggest Trey Mall's algorithm, but there are so many intersections, it'd be ridiculous. I didn't bring nearly enough jelly beans. We're not making any progress, but maybe we are. Maybe. <laughs> well, there's a lot of dead ends around here. Yeah. Navigation is fun. Navigation. If it turns out that it's a secret panel that I have to open, I'm gonna be real mad. All right, well now we're just back where we started. You uh, just follow the wall from the entrance. Follow the right wall from the entrance. All right. Don't just pick a random wall and start going left. Wall from the entrance, following it. Yes, this will take us to the destination or back to where we started, provided there's no stairs or third floors or secret walls or one-way roads. A lot of caveats, actually. Oh! Navigation test completed. Hey, following Please the right wall work, okay, Mike. If you can remember. Well, that's pretty simple. We'll just go back this way. Yeah, we'll just follow the left wall. Duh! Oh, shit. <laughs> Navigation is and always will be a stupid test. There it is. All right, come on, let's go out of the out of the navigation Excellent. room, boys. Level two, access granted. More fun is ahead of you. I've navigated harder than you did. All right, well, is that everything? Oh yeah, we get admission to level two. Hooray! We're sophomores now. Backwards three. Oh, they're blue. They're wait, the blue guys are on our side, I think. Oh, are they? Well, not anymore. Well, oh god, they're gonna explode! They're gonna explode! Back up! Back up! Back up! I don't think they are. <laughs> God, wow, that hit me all the way over here. Yeah, our allies explode hard. Okay, well. Oh, no, the red ones are on our side. Okay, sure. Don't talk to me. Oh, good, they're just spawning. They, they were friendly before you shot them. No, they weren't, they were enemies. Maybe give them a chance next time. All right, fine. Oh, God. Okay. What's this test supposed to be? Surviving explosions? See, they're on our side. Oh, okay. I won't kill him this time, then. Yeah, just fight with them. She murdered our allies. Sorry, he shoots you in the face all the time. Oh, hello. Is it capture the flag? Red flag has been captured. Oh, now they're hostile. See you bleed out. Okay, let's get out of here before they explode. Woo! Yeah! Yes? Yes? We win? Do I win? Do I win? Blue team has won. Level three unlocked. Woo! Woo! Time, please try to put fewer holes in the walls. <laughs> hey, screw you, lady. <laughs> utility closet. Oh. There's less of a utility closet and more of a terminal. Thank you for your interest in learning about the exciting new Epsilon project using techniques proposed by John von Neumann centuries ago. Epsilon will become an adaptive self-repeating security force to keep the country safe in the military training area. Evolutionary algorithms will pit robotic fighters against each other with the best tactics and defenses. I don't feel like reading this anymore. Here's how you can help the Epsilon Project. If you are a trained fighter, enter our challenge. The rules are simple. Below this level are four levels of arena with increasing difficulty. On each level, there is an objective to achieve where you will fight our robotic warriors. Survive all four levels and claim your reward. Our self-replicating factories produce a small amount of pure gold. The longer the award has been unclaimed, the more gold will be given to you. You will have enough riches to buy all the modern products you can imagine, theoretically. Are you tired of cram yet? You will be. Of course, when you win this challenge, your reward will be huge. There's gonna be a whole bunch of cram. But until then, here's a smaller goal where you can work for it. 
We are scores at the top of the Hall of Fame. One lock the leader's kitchen for you. It offers an infinite variety of food to prepare you for the rest of the challenge. Spoiler alert, most of it's cram. Even everyone's favorite, salad cram. <laughs> okay, just go through each of these rooms. Check them all out. Apparently I am in the Hall of Fame now. Uh, for shooting our allies? Does that give you points? Felicia, Joe, and Roderick. Roderick was only in second place. Each subject was requested to enter a diary of their first five days of their participation. How did Joe fare? Oh, this will be the easiest payoff ever. These robots are so stupid. They keep walking into walls. They haven't even seen one hit anything with their little pistols either. Day two. Made it down to level six, no problem. Level seven and the payoff tomorrow. Day three. Okay, it might take a little longer. The maze down here is nasty. One of the robots actually winged me today. Day four. Subject died. Okay then. How did Roderick fare? If I can beat the challenge and get me gold, that would be nice. But what I really need is to disassemble these robots and to get the parts to Jacob's Town so Leet can leap me my own, assemble me own robot. Ah. I just need to figure out how to keep them from self-destructing. It's important. That one threw a piece of shrapnel into my sinus cavity. Arr. That's exactly what happened to me. What happened on day two? Eating all this crime is getting really boring. I told you it'd get boring. <laughs> That's a problem, because I'm pretty sure Epsilon is lying. Er, I don't think I will be getting out of here soon. Good thing I have some laser ammo left, because they've got some new armor, which is pretty much bulletproof. I... Ooh, neat. What happened on day three? Okay, I think I have a solution. If I mapped it correctly, part of level five comes close to a cave complex I noticed before. I should be able to blow a hole in the wall and escape. Okay, what happened on day four? It can't be a coinky dink. Today, all the grenades and mines were gone. The maze was easy, but I'm afraid Epsilon may have figured out what I'm planning somehow. Could the terminals be tapped? I probably should have been thinking this instead of typing it in there. <laughs> what happened on day five? I fucking died. <laughs> okay, what about the next subject? Hello, my name is Felicia. Those last two guys didn't know what they were talking about. The robots are pretty smart, and they're pretty accurate, but there's lasers too. And they're kind of sexy. I wish I had brought some of that pulse weaponry I've heard rumors about. What Lady's happened? a robosexual. And day two. I read through the other logs today. It may be a bad idea to write more here. Wow, day she's kind of smart. Day three. Everything is fine here. Thank you. Day four. Everything is fine still. Thanks. Day five. Still good. Thank you. And that was it. <laughs> All right. Well, tell me. What, what have you been writing, Zach? Oh, you can't, you haven't written anything because you're illiterate. Yeah, I, I don't know how to write stuff. <laughs> Thank God there's two beds. We don't have to share. Oh boy, thank God for all this fucking cram. <laughs> yeah. Level four, level four, where I level four, and it's a level, and it's a maze again, god damn it. <laughs> okay, just poke around a bit, I suppose. Follow the wall. You gotta understand, it probably takes a lot of effort to make a maze like this. They were probably very proud of what they did. They wanted to show it to you a second time. Here's the maze. Look at it again. Appreciate the maze. If you don't like it, then I'll beat your ass! Are you still lost? Good, that was my intention. I kind of like the noises the Epsilon robots make before they Epsilon explode. Epsilon threat assessment mild. Level 5 unlocked. Now please go away. Alright, I'm working on it! Yeah, but Drago keeps getting in our way. He is the size of a small tool shed. <laughs> Drago, did you kill something and you didn't think to tell me? out the answer is yes <laughs> hello epsilon red runner just uh don't mind us all right blue flag has been captured whoa whoa what, what? he actually grabbed the flag okay okay ah, oh you shot him out of my range come on zach sandwich him and we've got the flag like I disarmed him. Yeah, and you took the flag. And also, apparently, flesh came out of it. Oh, so it was. Uh, Go! Oh, oh, oh. Blue flag. It, uh, it's just a flag pole. Yeah, it's a blue flag. It, uh, I was kind of hoping to beat someone with an actual flag. That would have been hilarious. Now, I would say, don't. Uh, what? <laughs> blue flag has been captured. <laughs> what in the hell is happening? Who is that? What's your deal, dude? What the? All right, well, there's- Red flag has won. Next replay available in four hours. <laughs> what? Four hours? What the hell was that? He did... Some random naked guy just showed up and took the flag. Are they making people? Is this place turning robots into humans? That's 
That'd be kind of cool. But it's gonna put me out of business. That was my hobby. Here's an idea. We gather up these robotic components and make our own army. Yes, we finally have a robot. <laughs> yes, for the first time ever. For the first time, we'll have a robot. That's the robots! Nice one. What the hell is happening? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let's just put this flag down now. Next replay available in four hours. Okay. God, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Misfire. Gold. I want my move. Drago, you are. Drago, you are kind of fat. You can move, please. Ugh. Um, we've escaped. Um, where's our reward? Well, since we're free, let's take these robot parts to Jacob's town. Not exactly sure why we're doing it, but the journal told us to. What? Oh, that's a super duper mutant, huh? <laughs> oh. Hi. Behemoth, yeah. I hope it will snow later. <laughs> I'd be nice. <laughs> What's over here? Leet's robot lab, <laughs> Humies go away. Exclamation point one, exclamation point. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's pretend we're not humies and go in. Uh, huh? <laughs> hi, hi there, Lee. What? I'm working here. Important <laughs> stuff. That's that's weird. That's very weird. I heard you might be interested in some robot parts. Let me see. Is it something new? No, not enough. You you need take this. You have more robot parts for what? No, he, he wants us to get more parts so that we can build a robot body. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's, um... Did you build the robot body yet? You just gave the thing to me. Then don't bother me uh, till you do. Okay. Okay, bye. Four limb activators, two hyper tubing units, one Epsilon central core, one robot head. You grabbed all the components from those destroyed rope. I did grab a bunch of components. Is there a workbench in Jacobstown? What in the fuck is that? <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh my god, you poor bastard. <laughs> Stupid big honors. We're making noise all night again. <laughs> well, he seems to be all right. I, for the most part. Oh, god, okay. <laughs> Never mind. That was Draco again. All right. <laughs> Oh my god, it's even more horrifying now. Yeah, you kind of broke him. Stay in love, stay in love. Stay in love. Alright, somebody kill me. 